Welcome to the Tales of Berseria, or Berseria, demo. You guys know I don't like to do a lot of talking. I like to dive right into the game. Oh, shit, my battery died. Right as soon as I got it started. There we go. Tales of Berseria demo. You guys are going to have to forgive me because i got to start my broadcast in the middle of this. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of talking also. Um... I'm excited for this game. Tales of Berseria is coming out on the 24th. Uh, I haven't played a Tales game since... I think the last Tales game I played... I want to say was Tales of the Abyss on the PS2, but I think I played one after that. I'm not sure. That's the one I remember playing. Of course, I know everybody's going to bitch and say that there. Hold on. What's the game? Hmm. Get my joystick like in a fool right now. Damn. I'm even charging. What the fuck is wrong with my port? I don't have a joystick malfunction. Yo, I'm having joystick malfunction. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, is this happening live? Is the joystick malfunction happening live? On ADS Play? Can't be. Joystick malfunctions. Oh, the, oh, the agony. Oh, the pain. Oh, the fucked up hardware. This is the reason why we need to donate to Transport Successful Dream. To go fund me. In the video description, but we ain't got to deal with these type of mishaps. Very important that we donate. We need new hardware for the channel so that we don't have to be dealing with this USB port in my laptop. It's not even working anymore. Or that it has a very bad short in it. Um, I think everything's cool now. All right, so as I was going to say before I got rudely interrupted by that little mishap, um, I know a lot of people are going to bitch about the Japanese audio. The thing about me is I like hearing it in the English audio only because there is, I guess while I'm talking about this, I can get to better broadcast because I definitely am going to stream this. Right. Uh, uh, oh, caps demo. There we go. I hope I got the name right. Here we go. My dumb ass. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. We should be fine now. And on air. It's official. Okay. So, as I was saying before, um,. I'd rather listen to it in the English voices, because when I get the game, I'm pretty sure I'm going to play it through the Japanese voices, because a lot of people have this bias that the Japanese voices are also better, and I don't want to turn people away from it. So in the main game, I'm going to do that. So I think it's only fair that we give the English voices a chance in the demo, just to demonstrate what the English voices are going to do. I think it's fair. I think it's fair. You know, I think it's a fair thing to do. I'm interested in seeing what this game... Oh, hello. So is the main character going to be a female in this game? I'm all for that. I don't think we ever had a Tales game where the, where the main character was a female. Scenario mode, battle mode, uh, I guess scenario mode. Group claiming to have found an ancient book have revived at the Flare Beach. Search the beach for someone who can decipher its passages. 
Do you want to start scenario mode? Yes, I want to start scenario mode. Would you like to enable tutorials? Yes, I would like to enable tutorials. The demo will end once you complete the story portion. If you die during battle, you can retry, so don't be afraid to try different things. Broadcasting only microphone audio because you entered a block scene. What the fuck? Beautiful waters. The steel block? This is Muckler Beach. Wait a minute, I gotta go to uh Man, let me go to um Well I got a good question. Why the fuck Japanese games seem like And it seems you've absorbed the lesson well. Right. I'm not like that though. Huh? Yes, some women use their tears to manipulate others, but not all do, and I for one despise such duplicity. The women who did that to Aizen and Rokuro are just the extreme. Yeah, I can see how much you hate this honesty, Eleanor. Huh? Um, yeah, that's right. Be a good example for the boy then, so he doesn't end up like Rokuro and me. I intend to do just that, whether or not you ask it of me. Eleanor is a lot stronger than she appears. This thing. Alright. Is that another scenario? Guess not. I'm live right now, by the way. I'm, 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 forgive me, I'm trying to check my fucking Twitch stream, but it's acting kind of stupid old right now. For whatever reason, they told me I entered a block portion of the game. I don't even know what the fuck. Well, it's a good thing I'm recording this on uh, on YouTube. I mean, on my uh, on my on my game software because I don't have to in, I don't have to bother with this type of stuff. But still, people on stream ain't gonna have shit to watch. Apparently. Oh well, let's just continue. Attack when your souls become all red, your attack will be deflected. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda missed this, uh... This is gonna be fun. I still need a lot of training. Is training hard? Is training hard? They actually got conversations like that in the middle of the battle. to defend. Defending the damage will decrease but greatly deplete SG. It also resets the camera position unless you're against the wall. So you really gotta use like a hit and run strategy.
cats, spirits, and boxes. Cats, spirits, and boxes are strange energies that drift through the world. You can collect them by touching them. You will need spirits to open cats' boxes. Hourglass. What is that? Fan mold. That looks so weird. Bending one break gauge level during a combo will instantly switch out characters and perform a tremendous knockback. Doing this while defending will switch characters without attacking, so decide which is right for the situation. You have at least one BG you can press up and spin on BG to switch out characters from battle while attacking with an incoming substitute fighter. Once your party reaches six members, you can also press it down. As long as you have the required BG, you can even switch out KO characters for characters who can still fight. Select which character to switch out with left or right. Sorcerer's ring obtained from devouring spirit spirits enables you to now use break soul. Break soul consuming claw hold R2 with three or more souls while standing by or during a combo to pay one soul to activate restoring HP. Hitting this Hitting with this attack will cause Velvet to become Eronized, which drains HP but grants additional abilities based on the enemy type. Reaching 1 HP or performing an art when the maximum combo has been reached will unleash a maximum combo chain. Or unleash a break art. Eronization. The more those HP, the more powerful the attack becomes. Oh, birdie.
style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. I'm gonna be honest with you, I hope this game doesn't end up being one of those fucking bullshit love stories at the end. I guess this thing just isn't going on. I won't improve by fighting weaklings. Can't think you saying that I'm live, but I'm not seeing. But it's still not showing. They were nothing. I probably shouldn't even live stream this. Might as well just stop broadcasting because it's not uh for whatever reason it's not even showing the game. This grimoire who we're searching for is a Moloch like Bienfu, right? To be honest, I don't see how someone so different can be a Moloch just the same as Lofi said or Aizen. I understand your doubts. It's quite the tangly mess. I'll tell you anything. In that case, I've been wondering what's underneath your hat? Anything but that! So, we've hit a wall already. But that ribbon flaps around and gets in the way, right? Could I take it off for you? No! No! That's not possible! You mustn't remove the ribbon! Why not? That's another thing I can't say! Shit. It's all cans with you. Alright, is there anything you can tell me? I could talk about what type of Malachim we are. Or our position in the world of Malakim, or our abilities. Oh, I'd like to know all that. Then I will tell you. Listen closely. We Norman are a well-established race of Malakim. Compared to other Malakim, we aren't as adept at manipulating natural forces, but we excel at drawing out and heightening the abilities of others. Think of them as a convenient power-up. They're also known as common spirits. Why is it so painful for you? Because it makes people think we're average and unremarkable. That's why we work so hard to show how we're all different. I want to know how hard it is to maintain a voice like that throughout an entire game. Don't sweat it. That's a perfectly common thing to worry about. <laughs> Don't say that. This hardware is, my laptop is really starting to have it. It's not as, as good as it used to be. Really starting to bother me a little bit too, because not working. So what's it really like? Huh? The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Do you share thoughts and feelings? Um, sort of. When I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. Mm. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, all right? I know. You're a boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, that's a bad idea. It'll have to be Mogulu, or myself. Phew. 
What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes. But it's not like I'm sleeping by her side or anything. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Does she ever get out of bed at night? <laughs> not in my experience. Dwelling she's inside. Huh? When she's around you guys, she always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is... Softer, you could say. She lets her hair down, too. And I think it's kind of prettier that way. Huh. So that's what he likes. Well, keep an eye on her, but... But? Watch out for the older girls. Huh? Just watch out for the older girls and the birds start squawking. Where is this thing we're supposed to be looking for? Did I pass it up? Oh, bottle. to catch it down. Unleashed all my power. Maybe I. What are those penguins doing? Probably keeping their eggs warm. Most likely. They look like a mama and a papa. Penguins are monogamous, faithful creatures. They never leave their mate. <sighs> Isn't that romantic? So they lay eggs because they're like husband and wife. But. How do they make the eggs? Oh, I can't wait to hear this. That's... well... Sex. So, Rafi said, here's an interesting fact. A single penguin egg actually contains dozens of smaller orange eggs. Oh, so their eggs must be small and crunchy. Yep, they have the texture of caviar and the rich flavor of sea urchins. Interesting. So they're more like fish than birds. So you've eaten them. How cruel. Look how much they care about their young. While it may be a bit cruel, they taste amazing. They're considered a delicacy in some circles. Top a bowl of rice with these crunchy eggs and some rich penguin thigh meat, and you get a dish called Family Fricassee. That's a horrific name. I wasn't the one who named it, okay? Those eggs look tasty, but I think I'll pass. No, oh, you don't want no eggs. What's the matter? The eggs too much for the handle. Don't like the eggs, boy. Fuck you. The eggs look tasty, but I don't want anything tasty.
Don't know what the hell that was. I don't even know how the hell I did that. We won, right? Right? Don't even know if I did. They still got apple gels in these games. How about apple gels would have been played out? So you can freestyle all these. Bad voodoo daddy. Grimoire? <sighs> She's moving away. No, just a big lizard demon. Is it friends with dial? <laughs> Oh, Mystic Art is L2. Oh, that was it? 
Available January 24, 2017. Wanna go to a play store? No. Let's check out what that battle mode was like. 